5%. Well, the Bank of Canada has held its interest rate at 5% which is consistent with what the uh, governor had uh, suggested in the last announcement the fact that they won't be dropping rates dramatically and in this case they haven't dropped the rate at all and uh, the fact that uh, the although the interest uh, the inflation rate is, uh, has, has come down uh, what they'd like to see is a a trend of a, I guess a longer period so in the last uh, announcement he said uh, one month isn't a trend so I guess two months isn't a trend either. Anyway, uh, what does it mean for us in the real estate industry? Um, for now at least, uh, we, 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 we cannot expect to see any different from what we saw last year. Foreign buyers ban is still in place. The interest rates are high, so yeah, we're going to see what we saw what, uh, what we saw last year. Uh, what did we see last year? We still saw a uh, demand for properties. Uh, there is still a shortage of supply in the market so there is still people looking for homes and uh, BC in particular uh, Metro Vancouver areas experienced a lot of uh, new immigrants coming into this area so there is definitely demand so if we're expecting the prices to drop it's not going to happen uh, what we've seen is that there is uh, a slight uptick in the, the in prices and the sales to active ratio, which is, which is a ratio which measures supply and demand uh, for both, uh, for all, Burnaby, uh, Richmond and uh, Vancouver, all sit above the 20% mark, which indicates to us that there is going to be uh, upward pressure on, on prices, home prices. Um, exactly how much uh, up, upward pressure is going to be exerted depends on uh, the area. Anyway, this is a brief update and I hope you find it enjoyable. <laughs> anyway, this is a brief update and I hope you find it useful. Bye for now.